Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, finally you see it again. It's the iPhone 5. I bet you thought I didn't have one. It's been so long since I posted a video on it. Well, still rocking the iPhone 5. Uh, hadn't posted any videos because there really wasn't anything to post. They haven't really been doing anything. You know, I don't, I don't like doing a lot of app reviews and things like that. So now it's time though because as you can see, I went on ahead and put it on iOS 7. And my, I've been using this for a, a day or so maybe, going on a day. And I gotta tell you, it was a huge upgrade uh, as far as uh, the way it runs and uh, some of the things that they took away from other OS's like WebOS and Windows Phone 7 and Android. Obviously, you can see it's there all day. Um, denial if you want to, but it's there, especially WebOS. Uh, but yeah, uh, they've definitely upgraded it and uh, they've done a fantastic job. I, I really appreciate them taking some time to uh, change the way it looks because it, it definitely needed it. So here's the official um, firmware for beta 2. This is beta 2. And this is on my unlocked T-Mobile iPhone. You can see it is, uh, can you see it? 70. It's uh, 114, excuse me, 11A4400F. That's it. See, I might need to brighten this up a little bit. I have to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's the official. So uh, yeah, iOS 7 is doing really, really good. It's um, no no problems with it. As you can see, you're getting a glance there of the um, the quick settings here. You just swipe up and you can get you can play music. You got any music on here? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I got some music on there. You can change the brightness. And this is something that they definitely took notes on from Android. Airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, and auto uh, lock rotations on there. Uh, down here, you've got the AirDrop application. I know you, a lot of people you say, oh, it's been out for a long time. For other, well, it has. They even got a little thing here for flashlight. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, you can see your clock is down here now. Calculator is here, I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, but camera, let's jump into the camera. You can see the new camera interface. So what they've done is you now slide across to change um, to what you want. <clears throat> got panorama, HDR mode, regular photos, HDR, and you've got video. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, you can change to the front facing camera up there photos here and you know you get into your settings but they, they did a pretty good job overall we're revamping this operating system the transitions are really nice um, they they they're just giving it a more they're saying it's a more clean look but what really I just see like Windows Phone 7 I see other operating systems here when I look at this so they have the uh, static just the, the wallpaper stand still the icons move there's a lot of things like this that are there are nice touches but it's more of a it's supposed to be more of a flat clean modern look and you know it works you know it's, it's a real clean nice operating system uh, it just uh, it's, it's doing pretty good so I'm not complaining about it no crashes no no errors it looks like beta 2 fixed a lot of things now I didn't load up beta 1 because you know I heard there's a lot of bugs shout out to gene 88 mg 88 uh, he actually the one that, that uh, turned me on to go ahead and go ahead and put it on there because I've been talking back and forth with him about it and um, I was like you know did you do it he was like yeah I did it but I took it off and went back to 6.1.4 but then he went on and went back to beta 2 once it was released and I said okay I'll try it now because you know bugs are gone it, it it's a data a daily user as you can use it as your everyday phone I haven't had any issues crashing. Everything works. I like the new drop down at the top. You got missed all. You know, it's just um, an email. Oh, it's got uh, a really clean look to it. It's it was definitely needed. Um, and this is something I wanted to show you right here. When you're inside of the browser, and it's got like these little cubes here for all your your things that you can go to your shortcuts and excuse me bookmarks so they've they've tried they're trying and i think they're doing a really good job at changing it up uh they can only do so much to deviate from their original design and they're not going to because they don't want to lose customers and, and i don't blame them you know you can't deviate too much from where you where you started at or you'll lose people to other operating systems because sometimes people you know they just don't want change so um, that is iOS 7, you know, nothing major. I just wanted to show you that I had loaded it up and so here's how you get it. If you're if you haven't done it and you want to do it, 
everybody watching this probably has already done it. Um, I know I'm always late in the game. For the people who have not done it, though, I'll put a link in the description. So here's how you do it. Make sure you back up your phone just in case you want to go back to 6.1.4. Um, and then what you do is you plug it into iTunes. You, uh, it wants to recognize your phone, let it settle for a second. Then you press the left shift key and then check for updates. And then it'll open up a file explorer. And then you go get the file that you're downloaded, that you've downloaded with iOS 7. And again, check the link in the description. You can download it there. It's about 1.14 gigs. So download it, um, install it, check it out. I think you'll be happy because this is beta 2. So, you know, no, no problems with beta 2 at all. It's, it's super smooth. There's this nothing going on with this thing to where they've even added a uh, weather application uh, with the animations like HTC you know it's they, they took a lot of design notes from other operating systems and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you know if this is what they needed to do to catch up to what's going on right now I think it's a good thing so you can add them all here but yeah that is iOS 7 uh, for the on the iPhone 5 this is my unlocked iPhone 5 it's a T-Mobile iPhone 5 but it's unlocked uh, but um, yeah so LTE everything works uh, it's, it just runs like a regular phone just new look so there it is guys I will see you in the next video and I appreciate you looking on take care